For the past two hours, the country has watched how the murder investigation to former Arkansas State Senator Linda Collins' murder unleashed heartbreak, rumors, conspiracies, and an arrest and a conviction. Thank you for joining us tonight, Ten everybody. I'm Bob Kloss, and sticking with us after Dateline, in just a minute, something not included in NBC's show, Linda's kids describe a moment with the convicted killer. Carrie Kifor's Mitch McCoy, who was part of Dateline's special, in the studio with a look at the timeline and how we got to tonight. All eyes are on our state tonight as Dateline really covers this case in a way that's never been done before. But there has been so many twists and turns, which you can only imagine it makes it that much more difficult for Linda's family. Before that moment with her kids, let's recap this case from the very beginning. Linda Collins was found dead outside her Randolph County home on June 4th, 2019. The case was immediately sealed. On June 7th, state police and deputies arrested one of Collins' friends, Rebecca O'Donnell, a former campaign worker. O'Donnell originally pled not guilty. In October of the same year, authorities learned O'Donnell was trying to hire people to kill the judge, prosecutor, and Linda's ex-husband. In May, we started to learn about a motive for murder, stolen money and gold. In August of 2020, O'Donnell pleads guilty to the murder of her friend, Linda Collins. In December, a Pulaski County judge ordered Arkansas State Police to release a portion of the criminal case file, said to be thousands of pages. It comes after KRK and other news media organizations filed a motion to have it released under the state's Freedom of Information Act. Another batch of documents expected to be released in the near future Future, but in what we have right now tells a big chunk of the story from O'Donnell selling the late senator's gold to surveillance video of O'Donnell holding a knife that you're seeing here. After her first interview with police and before O'Donnell was on the radar of law enforcement, Butch and Tate say this happened hours after their mom's body was found. And Becky comes out of her uh, interview. She comes out crying and comes up to me and hugs me. Hugs us. At the police station. At the yeah, police Becky station. Becky hugs us. And says, oh, you know, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. And uh, didn't say necessarily what for. We just assumed sorry that she was dead. Because at this point, we didn't know Becky had anything to do with it. Um, and so I'm like, okay, yeah, thanks. But Becky's all hugs and tears. I'm so sorry for your yeah. loss. Right. Rebecca O'Donnell was sentenced to 50 years in prison. There are some other questions surrounding this home surveillance footage, the white sheet. Law enforcement at first thought there could be two people under this sheet going back into the late senator's home. The Randolph County Sheriff confirms they've determined through digital evidence there was only one person under that sheet. Linda's son, Butch, tells me he's confident that O'Donnell is the only person who killed his mom but does question if anyone else could be involved before or after Linda's death. Right now, a Pulaski County judge is reviewing other portions of that case file to determine what directly is connected to the homicide that can be released publicly. Back to you.